that Jesus, he did almighty work. Creation, why yeah. God want to share the ability to create with someone? He's a man. Okay, Allah, he was trying to convince us that Jesus is a prophet or Jesus is God. If the answer is, he's trying to convince us that Jesus is a prophet, will he fail? Because if Jesus cannot create, if Jesus cannot do all those things, none of us Christians will believe that he's God. Do we agree, Muhammad? He's, he's, yeah, yeah, we agree. But like, there's no prophet that did the same thing, right? Not only the creation. You see, like, there's a story about... Yeah, uh, creating. There, right. There's no prophet who no prophet. has ever uh, done this. Absolutely, you're right. Not only that, like, there's a story about Abraham. Uh... Uh, asking God for things, right? And then when God, yeah. he he, uh, he told him to slaughter his son, and this is what our topic today, uh, uh, Allah yeah. himself, he sent a ransom. So the Muslim, they say to you, well, why God, he need to send a ransom to himself? I mean, he will sacrifice to himself or to who? I mean, Jesus sacrifice, correct? But when God, he yeah. sent a ransom, he sent it to who? To himself in the Quran because the ransom to who from who who is the one who requests the death of Isaac it was Allah and who is the one yeah. who sent the sacrifice it was Allah so Allah is sacrificing to Allah so the same reason the Muslim they say we cannot accept this idea that Jesus sacrificed himself to save us is in the Quran because Allah he ransom and the ransom, it was not from earth, it was from heaven. And even the Quran called it a great sacrifice, Azim, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So the sacrifice have to be from the sky. Why? It have to be pure, holy. Here they say yeah. it's a ram, but the Quran describe it. This is the translation. The Quran only says it is the Bhuna Azim. So Allah don't want a the great sacrifice. sacrifice then. Yeah. He don't want the sacrifice of Abraham. He sent his own sacrifice. So why the Muslim reject Jesus to be sending or to become as a sacrifice? The idea of Jesus being sacrificing is not like a Muslim. They say uh, the Christian believe in a human sacrifice. No, we don't believe in that. First of all, we believe our Jesus, our Lord. He is our Lord. He is our God. He come in the flesh of a man. But he did not go and say, hey, kill me. And we Christian, we did not put him in the cross. He knew the future. He knew what they would do to him. Still, because he loved the world, still he will do it. He did not run away, as Quran described. Allah took him to yeah. him. So no. this is about his knowledge, not about he. This is why you see Jesus, you know, is speaking in the Bible clearly that this is like this is a cup he don't like to drink, but let your will be done. So. Jesus here proven to us again that he overcome death and death does not affect him and he came back to us. In the same time, when we speak about the almighty power and we ask ourselves why Allah, according to Muslims, he gave all those miracles to Jesus. Shouldn't we ask Allah, did you try to convince us that he is a prophet or he is God? Because how Allah, he shared the ability of a creation with a man, his name is Jesus. As long as the Quran confirmed that Jesus, he created from the mud, a figure of a bird, and I breathe into it. Who is the one breathe? It's not like uh, Jesus, he made a figure of a bird, and then he says, Allah, hey, Allah, breathe into it. No. And I breathe into it. You speak Arabic very well. You do not need a translation. Yeah. Does it say here, that uh, let us see the other verse there's two verses all right read with me carefully ورسولاً إلى بني إسرائيل إني قد جئتكم بآية من ربكم إني أخلق إني أخلق what he's saying I Create, I create from the mud a figure of a bird and I and I breathe and it's going to be a bird by the will of Allah okay 
by the will of Allah, this is the Muslims adding it. But what is confirmed that Jesus he make a figure. This is this is also weird because we have that uh, what Allah uh, did to Mary, he also anfakh, he also blew Nothing. in her. Correct. He, he, so it's he, so he, weird that Jesus will blow, will blow in the in the in the clay, and also God blows in that he's so. No, this is how this is how Allah he created Adam too. Yeah, exactly. He blew mm -hmm. in the, the like. If 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 Jesus wasn't God, why couldn't he just I don't know like throw it in the air and it would fly and be created? Why does he have to do the same exact action as God? How Allah, unless yeah, unless he's he God. unless he is the one who created Adam. So when I have fa fashioned him completely and breathe into him, who is the one who breathed Allah supposedly? But we find that Jesus is doing the same as Allah. Yeah. So if Allah trying to convince me that Jesus is just a prophet, he failed. He gave him too much power. Let us say that those miracles are given this power given to Jesus. Not he even can tell you what you hide in your house is correct. Does it say correct. that? Read, read, read with me. It says not only he healed the leper, he made the blind see. Uh, uh, he uh, not only that. He says, I and I inform you what you ate or what you eat and what you store in your houses. How you can do that? Is it the unseen? Muhammad in the Quran says, uh, uh, you know, I don't have uh, the, the knowledge of the unseen. How come Muhammad, he have the no knowledge uh, of the unseen, but Jesus have the knowledge of unseen? What do you huh. think? Yeah. Muhammad is a prophet, and the Muslims, not only they say he's a prophet, they say he is the greatest prophet. Yeah. So how Jesus, he have the knowledge of the unseen? And Muhammad do not know mm -hmm. the knowledge of the unseen. Yeah. And the Quran confirmed that the one who knows the unseen is all is Allah. Allah is all knowing. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Allah is all knowing. But as you see, that the one who have the knowledge of how how uh, he's just a man. I mean, how uh, how this person, you go and you store something, you hide some money in your house, and Jesus will tell you that you hide this in your house. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So what do you think, my friend? Everything lead us to one thing, that Jesus, even in the cult of Islam, Jesus is nothing like him. He is the spirit of Allah, according to Muhammad. He is Kalimatullah, wa ruhahu, alqaha ila Maryam. And not only that, actually, the same verse saying that he is the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah sent to Mary, is the same word confirming the Trinity, but in the Islamic way. Yeah. Because there it says that Jesus is the Word of God, and Jesus is the Spirit of God, and Jesus is the Messenger of God. When we Christians, we agree that Jesus, he came with the message, but he is the message himself, he is the Word. And this is why it says in the book of John, in the beginning, it was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word is the God, or was the God. So, Jesus is the Word of God. The Quran says that. Jesus is a spirit proceeding from God. Well, this is what the Holy Spirit is about. This is why Jesus said, yeah. I will yeah. leave you. I will not. You will not be alone. Every two of you mention my name. I will be between them. I will be the third. How he can be that? And he said, I will send you the, I will send you the comforter. Which means he will not leave us alone. We will be always having the Holy Spirit with us. So the word, the spirit, and the man. That is Jesus. Muhammad here is copying the Bible. But this is a wrong trinity. This is a wrong trinity. We don't believe in the trinity of Islam. But believe that Jesus was the word of God. Yes, but the word of God is God himself. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. 
and how Jesus yeah. can be spread proceeding from him I mean isn't it Adam created by God and that's it mm -hmm. Jesus why Jesus is not son of Adam yeah why well, he did he didn't say that like Adam is the spirit of God and why like, he is why is it only Jesus and why just only like in the Bible from all mankind there's only one person he is not the son of Adam that doesn't make sense so who's his father the Quran says that the father of Jesus is God because who is the one who made Mary have Jesus God it's not like a man and the women having sex together and they have a son no but in the case of Abraham God they gave a gift to Abraham he gave him Isaac but Isaac is a son of Abraham not the son of God Abraham was sleeping with his wife but because she is old she cannot conceive so God he made a miracle he made her able to conceive from Abraham not from God but in the case of Mary Mary she been never been touched by a man so why all of these scenes about yeah Jesus? Yeah, so yeah. Jesus? yeah I understand so what do you think, my friend? Uh, I think I guess you're right. Do you accept Christ as your savior? Yes, I accept Christ. As I mean my to that. Hallelujah. I mean to that, my friend. I'm really happy for you. Uh, I'm really, really, you made my day. You made really my day. Uh, since three days ago until now, I did not have one convert. And this is not a good news for me because always I have people leaving Islam, calling me in Skype and talking to me. So I'm really grateful for the Lord to send you to me today. So we have this beautiful conversation. And I am grateful that you. Uh, 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 you accepted the right way to be saved. Everybody is happy for you. Imagine, the Lord is amazing. You call me today to correct me. Correct? Correct. You call me yeah. to prove me wrong. And the Lord, he did his work. It's not a Christian prince who did it to you. It's the Lord, he opened your eyes. The Lord, he guided you. And praise be to the Lord, because he is from now on is going to be your guidance. And my friend, I advise you from now to read the four Gospels, John, Mark, Luke, all the four. And if you have any question, I will be happy. You can call me anytime. Usually, okay. usually I accept only calls from Muslims. But I will give you an exception in case you have a question so I can help you to strengthen your faith. And you can even in the text, if you don't like the call, I will be happy uh, to answer you. Because the devil now will, will try to attack you for you became a tree who is holding the fruits. You see, when the tree holds the fruits, everybody throw rocks at it. Nobody throw rocks at an empty tree. Today you became a tree full of fruits. And the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And since you call me, I told everybody, and you are my witness. I said, this guy is different. This guy is different. He's decent. And your decency, not me, made you be saved. It's your decency. The Lord, he have a decency inside you. And your decency today is the winner. It's not a Christian prince. It's you who is the winner. Yeah. I want You're all right. the Christians today to pray to our brother Muhammad here. And now I was calling you my friend. Now I want to call you my brother in Christ. And do you like to say anything? People, there, look, look at them. They are so happy. Uh, I'm... <laughs> I'm honestly just speechless. I mean, like I was deceived for so long. Like I tried everything to do for the past like eight years. I've been trying to defend Islam as much as I can, as hard as I can. And like everyone has a different opinion. Even the holy book, the Quran, has different interpretations. This scholar says this, this scholar says that, this scholar says this, and this guy disagrees with all of them. And if you don't believe this, you're an infidel. And no, this is wrong, this is right. I mean, it's just, there is no way this can be the word of God if you have everyone telling you, you know, this is, 
he's wrong, I'm right. No, he's wrong, I'm right. No, he's wrong, I'm right. No, he's wrong, I'm right. I just... So... You know, in the past, in the past week, I've had some doubts about Islam, and I... I used to look at the sky, and I just... And I, I swear to you, I'm not even lying. I used to look at the sky, and I used to say, like, if you're there, just guide me please i don't even know what's right from wrong anymore just guide me and i think he did and look at that. i believe you my friend you've been guided you've been guided and now you have you are a different person and now you will see that after you've been guided you will be a person who help others to be guided too so from now on you will be an ambassador to christ remember you are not a muslim no more you just said, I swear, don't swear. Jesus said either you say yay, yay, or nay, nay, which means yes or no. And I'll explain that to you in a very simple way. You see, okay. when we, uh, uh, like in traditionally, I, I understand, like in, uh, you, I was coming from the Middle East, I'm coming from the Middle East. And there, in order to make somebody believe us, we swear, right? We say, I swear, correct? Yeah, correct. Because why? The, the usual behavior of us, we lie from time to time. So to confirm that I'm being honest, now I swear. Look what Jesus said. Don't swear. Yeah, yeah, or nay, nay. Why? Because you should be always honest. Not only when you swear. You know what I mean? So yeah. you swear or you don't swear, you should have to be always honest, and this is the teaching of Christ. So from now on, we do not need to swear. The name of the Lord is not to be used in vain. We respect the name of the Lord. We respect His glory. We respect His Almighty. We will not use His name for little things and or even big things so I say the truth people believe it or not this is their business I will not swear so slowly slowly I understand you are still you just, you just let Islam but slowly slowly you will see how Christ will change you you will be a different person you will be a person new person with your family with your wife with your children with your parents and let me tell you something now yes you are a Christian but we are not the same as Islam you have to love your family even they are Muslims. You have to love your neighbor, even he's a Muslim. You have to love all the Muslims, even though they might throw rocks at you. Even though they consider you an apostate and the punishment is death. That is the Christianity, my friend. Yeah. With the Christ we live, with Muhammad we die. And this is life. Life is to be happy, and happy will never enter your heart as long as you have hate. The second hate into your heart, it's the same time, the same second, your heart is dead. Maybe your flesh is running and the blood is going through, but you are dead. So today you are alive. And the living Lord is all over your blood because he brought love to your life. So from now on, we love everybody. We forget about Islam, the kuffar and the infidels, and etc. and this and this is all is gone. This is all is history. The Lord He loves you, and because He loves you, you are going to love everybody around you. That let the light of Christ shine in your face. And it doesn't matter how what the color of your face. You are black. You are white. You are Asian. The Lord is our Lord. All of us, and we are equal in front of Him. He and she, white and black, Asian or whatever we are all the children of Adam and we are all the children of God equally loved by him equally he want to survive us to save us and this is why the Bible says for he loved the world he sent his only begotten son happy for you Muhammad yeah well like, thank you, like, really just, I was in complete denial, just, but I think now I found the right path. I'm sure you did. Anything else you want to say, Muhammad, before, uh, you know, I, I can't tell you are emotional. I don't want to hold you for long. You want to say anything else before you go? No. All Just... right. So what we should call you now? Should I call you, we give you a Christian name? 
<laughs> what you should call you, Peter? <laughs> Dante, I guess. <laughs> no problem. Doesn't matter. You can call yourself actually. If your name is Muhammad, keep it Muhammad. That will be even more amazing. That Muhammad glorifying Jesus. That will be beautiful, my friend. You do not need to change your name. I'm just joking. Thank you, thank you, my friend Muhammad, for calling me, and I'm glad to have you as uh, as a caller. And uh, the Lord, the, the Bible says, a happiness in the in the kingdom of God for one soul is saved. So now we have a happiness there. Imagine how much the Lord, He loves you. We are small, maybe smaller than a mosquito for Him, but yet He loved us to the point He said, a happiness in His kingdom will be for one soul is saved. Thank you and God bless you, my friend. Take care. God bless you. Thank you.